So hello everyone and welcome to this video today. We are taking a look today at the former Bourne and Sleaford Railway. We are currently here at Bourne Station in the town of Bourne in Lincolnshire. We're following the route of the old line to Sleaford today. Bourne as we can see today, this station here is called the Red Hall and this is actually the original station building. And both we can see the actual railway setting is now gone, replaced by this green field and those houses in the distance. This served the town of Bourne, and this was actually a junction station for most railways in the area. This included the Middle and the Great Northern Joint Railway, the railway between here and Sleaford, and also the line down to. So this station was also the start and terminus of a branch line to Essadine in Rutland. That spur gave the town a connection to the West Coast Main Line at Essadine Station. But as well you can see today with most of the other railways around Lincolnshire and rural areas, nothing remains other than this beautiful outstanding building which is colloquially known as the Red Hall but as many rail enthusiasts who know about this station will know this is the original station building. So this was Bourne Station we shall now head off to the next station at Morton Road. So this right here is the size of Morton Road Station. The station building remains there behind that fence as a private residence. The old track there crosses this road and goes behind that um, telephone pole into the forest. This is the village of Morton in Leakeshire, about two miles north of Bourne. This was the first stop along this stretch of the line and this station as we can see remains as a private residence. So. I cannot see what remains of the gardens, if there's any platform or anything, but the station still stands proudly in private ownership. So we'll head off to the next one now at Ripping Gale. So that there is Rippingale Station. This uh, the village of Rippingale in Lincolnshire and was the second stop along the line. Um, this was quite distance from the village. As we can see, it's preserved as a private residence with a lot of railway memorabilia. The old uh, crossing keeper's cottage is there as a private residence. And this is where the platform remains. And there's a nice locomotive down there with some stub of track. And this buffer stop here where the old crossing gate used to be. That's back to Bourne, that's to Sleaford. So we'll head on to the next one now.
So this here is Billingborough and Horbling Station. They said the villages of Billingborough and Horbling in Lincolnshire. This was the final stop on this stretch of the Bourne and Sleaford Railway. The station building is now in use for um, a company called Grimmers Transport Limited. Apparently that's their main office, the station building, although it looks a bit dilapidated. And then the old signal box, which I assume is that old replica, has the speed limit sign and sits on the left side. Now, this station, as we can see, survives. However, as we look down here, we've got the old crossing fence here, which goes across the road and through those shrubs by that residential road. And to the right, by the church spire, like I say, is where we've got what looks like the replica signal box, but in the shrub here, if I zoom in a bit gently, a section of the old platform can just about be made out in the shrub, a bit very overgrown. And that big um, warehouse unit at the back sits on the track bed. So we're looking basically at the same view as the old photo that you see here. And that's it now. So we'll head on now to So that there is As Warby and Screddington Station, the final stop on the Bourne to Sleaford line. Uh, the station building survives as a private residence with an extension on the back, not much of the platform remains. And to the left, when I drove past, is like a fence. As we can see, it looks like it leads to a unit at the back where the good shit is. But as we can see, the housing extension sits on the old station platform, so nothing really remains of the platforms or anything, but the building survives as a private residence. So led on to the last one now at Sleaford. So this is Sleaford Station on the line between Skegness and Nottingham as well as Lincoln and Peterborough among other destinations serving the town of Sleaford in Lincolnshire. This is where the Bourne Sleaford Railway terminated. As we can see Sleaford stands proudly today as a stop for many services to cities and towns in the region and this brings an end to this cover of the Bourne to Sleaford line. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, share and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.